Hey, Mark. Good. How are you? I'm doing fine. So, I, you are the creator of something called Little Bits. Yes. Why don't you tell us what they are? So, Little Bits is a system of electronic modules that snap together with magnets. Uh, the idea is that we want kids and adults uh, as well to be able to uh, prototype and create projects with light and sound and sensors um, and uh, various different motors without having any experience. So, Where did you develop these? So this is, I mean, a little bit has been in, in development for about four years now. Um, and we um, and we basically just released uh, our first product on the market in September, mm -hmm. and then um, uh, for more stuff in December and January, and you know it became a company. So cool. And did it originate at MIT's Media Lab? Is, is that correct? Originally, I mean, at, at the Media Lab, I uh, I've been working on another platform that was called the Number Six with um, the Computing Culture Group that was uh, intended to make uh, electronics easier for artists and designers. Mm -hmm. But that was a separate project, and a little bit didn't happen until many years later when I was working with designers and um, with some colleagues to basically enable them to make prototypes with, uh, with technologies. Oh, okay. So this is little bits. So each module has one specific function. So this is power. Uh, and this, for example, is an LED. And they snap together with magnets. So you can't put them the wrong way. So there's cool. no wiring. There's no there's polarity no, issues. No polarity issues, no wiring, no soldering. Everything just snaps. And they're all color-coded. So blue is power, green is output, pink is input, and orange is wire. So what you need to get started is a blue and a green. And then the pink and the orange are optional in between. So this is a pressure sensor. And you see how, you, as we apply pressure, yeah. It's so bright that it's like drowning out the, the camera, but I see it's, it's shooting all the way up. Uh, it, the, the green LEDs turn to uh, yellow and then amber. So if, if I replace this output with another output, which is the vibration motor, So all the circuitry is pre-integrated. So the resistors needed, the voltage regulators, any type of um, um, any type of signal conditioning for the sensors. Everything is pre-integrated and pre-engineered so that you don't have to do any programming or learn anything, and you can jump right in. This is one of the smarter modules. It's called the Pulse, and it allows you to emit uh, this blinking signal. That's and the cool. and that's like a, a five 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 timer or exactly it's a five 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 timer and we also have this trimmer here and we want you to be able to adjust the frequency of the pulse instead of having uh, to reprogram uh, if you have a chip if you have a microcontroller or instead of having to like pull out your resistors and caps and do calculations mm -hmm. you basically just use this uh, uh, the screwdriver um, uh, and and you can do it very easily. cool so. Here, for example, we have another um, another switch. It's a roller switch. Mm -hmm. And as you apply pressure to it, it turns on and off. And it has this knob that's a, a mode switch. It's normally on or normally off. So you can here, for example, it's normally off unless pressure is applied. And if I switch this knob, it's normally on unless pressure is applied. So essentially, this is how uh, a fridge light works. Mm -hmm. So we want to use these examples and these modules to explain to kids and to adults, uh, to be honest, um, how technology around us works. So how a fridge light works, how a night light works, um, uh, why an elevator door stays open, uh, how a cell phone vibrates, you know, what's the vibration that goes on inside, all these different components that we touch and we use and we buy and we are very attached to that we don't really know how they work. So Little Bits is it's a growing library and we keep adding new modules and it's all open source and we want people to come up with their own modules and their own projects and to share and it really kind of to foster this um, the spirit of, of collaboration and innovation. That's um, cool. So one of the things is, is it's open source, right? Yes. So the, the uh, specifications 
for people making their own modules so that they can fit to these? Is that, is that available? That's available on the website. So, mm -hmm. so far now, we have all the, uh, the circuit design files. They're all available online for download. Um, the connector is something that we're still refining, mm -hmm. which is this magnetic connector. Mm -hmm. We're still making modifications to it, and it's not 100% stable yet mm -hmm. the way we want it. So uh, when that's ready, that'll be available for people to buy also so they can make their own, uh, their own modules mm -hmm. and they, they can come up with their own projects. Now, I know that this is the, one of the cool things about this is that you can make cool circuits without programming, but do you have plans to have a microcontroller module so people who do want to program can Add Absolutely. That. So we're going to have two things. First, we're releasing in a couple of weeks um, breakout boards for the connector so that you can put them into a breadboard and you can build your own circuit out of a breadboard and, you know, you can prototype it. But also what we're doing is, um, and that's kind of a phase two, uh, when we finish uh, putting out all these kind of individual modules now, uh, we're going to be putting out uh, programmable modules and so that once you've, you know, you've played with the switches, with the sensors, with the motors, you've built projects, now you want to push the system a little bit further and you want to make things that are more powerful. Um, now you've graduated to microcontroller programming, basically. And so at that point, you'll be able to, um, to use the, the programmable bits and, and write your own code and, and kind of do that easily. That's really fantastic. Yeah. It's so exciting about uh, the fact that this is introducing electronics and, and sophisticated electronics to, to kids and adults who are interested. Because I know a lot of, actually from Make Magazine, a lot of adults who've never tried electronics want to learn. And I think it's a great thing for people to start with it at any age. The, the nice thing is, I mean, over the past few years, we've seen an explosion um, of different platforms that allow you to get into electronics easily um, and, um, and and different you know prototyping platform as well the the one thing uh, that has not fully been solved is that for the most part you have to be convinced that you want to learn electronics to be able to learn all these platforms because it takes a commitment you have to sit down download a software uh, you have to buy certain parts you have to try to try and error learn about how electricity works um, program so it, it, it takes commitment and but there's a whole category of people that don't know that they want to learn uh, electronics. They don't know that they want to use them. They're intrigued, but they're afraid, or they're overwhelmed, or they don't have time. So we're trying to make little bits as accessible as possible and as instantaneous as possible so that you can see the results. And when you're hooked, you basically start to build up from there, and you start going into these more sophisticated platforms. Before we started uh, filming this, you told me about uh, a launch of a community-based Little Bits website. Could you tell me a little bit of what, what that's about? So you're going to have to stay tuned for the details and we'll update you on that's happening. But basically, at the um, uh, towards the end of this month, in the next coming weeks, we're going to, uh, not this month, next month, uh, we're going to be um, releasing a big part of the website that's really going to foster a community and, a, um, and, and projects to be shared. But uh, I won't give more details. Okay. Surprise. <laughs> that sounds cool. Hiya, thank you so much. Uh, you won a, uh, or not won, but you, you are now in the TED Fellowship program because of this project, and congratulations. It's Thank well you. deserved. Thank you very much. It's been a very exciting ride. We also won Best of Toy Fair a few weeks ago, so it's been really That's like awesome. a wild ride. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much.